Okay, I finally got this uh, projector screen up. This is the Kaylee or Kale uh, 110 inch. And uh, the, I'm just right off the bat, finally happy with it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Even though it was a little bit difficult to put up, um, doing it one person, it is doable, but uh, you're just gonna have to uh, take some time doing it. And this is a 110 inch and it's, uh, it's a good size. Now looking at it here, here's a little comparison to a 50 inch TV. And this is what you're gonna get. I've got the lights on and of course, uh, you know, uh, it seems a little washed out and a lot of projector screens will be that way unless you have a uh, ambient light rejecting screen. But uh, the screen material, it projects, or um, it's a pretty good screen. I'll show you here in a minute whenever I uh, kill the lights, but I'm gonna show you something. Uh, mounting this, um, you need one of these. You need one of these mounts. It makes mounting the screen a lot easier. Um, the, one of the issues that I had was trying to mount this projector screen, and you can see where the hook went, went to. That's where you put the screws. And the screws that they give you are kind of dinky <laughs> you know they may work but for my particular case when i had everything lined up after i measured and remeasured and marked uh, where i need to put it uh, it didn't sit flush against the wall now that's not the projector screen it's my wall my wall wasn't perfectly flat so i got one end uh, done uh, right but then it just would not sit flush here so I got one of these uh, universal mounts and uh, this universal mount you can you know they're white label you can find a bunch of them but this one uh, had the hooks there you got to be careful with these mounts though the washers that they give you are kind of dinky I want to see you can kind of look right there now what I did up there is I doubled up on the washer I got a more uh, robust washer uh, because the ones that they give you were kind of dinky. <laughs> and so I got it sitting like this. And that's the only way that it went on. And uh, it seems fine. Now it's adjustable so you can put the screen further away from the wall. But I want it as close as to the wall as possible. It covers a window. And uh, it works. And after I installed it with all the little headaches that I went through... It, it, it's worth it. <laughs> this is a good projector screen. It came nicely packaged. There was no dents or dings on the, there's no damage to the box. The box is marked handle with care. And uh, finally, the delivery people from Amazon, they uh, delivered it with care, unlike my other screen that they just threw on the ground. Um, this one, uh, they actually handled with care. And, uh, you know, it's marked on the box as opposed to my Elite screen, which cost almost five times the amount of this. And uh, it's not even motorized. It's manual. And it's got tension tabs, which for the most part you want. But this one here seems fine without tension pads, tension tabs. And I got it to where I uh, have it come down and it just touches the windowsill there. So it worked out perfectly. And it's not affected by uh, the ceiling fan. So that is super cool. And uh, there's my turbo prop fan right there. And it's not affected at all. So I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the wall controller here, they gotta do something different with that. Now I placed it sideways because I had the two wires shooting out that way. Uh, don't understand why if they have it you know, this way, oriented that way, why don't they have one of the wires coming out the bottom? Maybe something with the internals, right? So I just placed it sideways. And so uh, everything uh, works good. Let me show you the picture quality when I kill the lights here. Well, there's the wrong switch, there we go, boom. Uh, really good picture quality. And this is only a 1080p 
projector. And I'm, I don't know, 25 feet away now. And uh, the picture quality, it's good. The screen is good, everything's good. And uh, the motorized uh, function works good. This remote works great. There we go, you can see the remote here. Uh, you got your up, you got your down, and I would show you, but I got it perfectly where I want it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it. Uh, you know, up is up, down is down. The only thing is that you have to stop it yourself. Now, when you go to press it up, it'll scroll up and then it'll stop when it's done. But when you press down, you have to stop it yourself. Otherwise, it'll just keep on going. That's the only, you know, downfall or negative if there is a negative. Um, but overall, for the price of the screen... Yeah, uh, totally worth it. I don't care that I have to stop it myself. Um, it's cool. And uh, it's good enough to where I would purchase this again. And I might purchase another one. Um, it's not that difficult to install. But then again, it's not really easy either. The hardest part, especially if you're doing it yourself, is measuring everything and lining up uh, everything. And like I said, you really need to get those brackets. They will help in, 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 you know, during installation and make things a whole lot easier. And there's a little give on those brackets where you can adjust them. So you can adjust them to go... Uh, up or down a little bit and just in case you didn't install the brackets evenly there's uh the hooks are adjustable so you can kind of you know get the screen just right with a uh level so that's pretty cool as opposed to just the screen itself once you do the holes and if they're not even well then you know you're kind of uh yeah sol there but uh the screen is not bad at all. It is good enough to where I would uh, I would buy it again. The only thing is, uh, like I was saying, the screws that come with it, the screws and the drywall anchors, they are a little bit on the uh, wimpy side. Um, but it must work since they include them and they, that's what they use. Uh, luckily, these brackets that I showed you, they come with a little bit more beefier screws and beefier anchors. And uh, the brackets themselves, uh, about the washers, you know, I mentioned that. Uh, yeah, uh, the brackets have an issue themselves. They're just giving you really <laughs> dinky washers. So, uh, you know, finally, when I get it all together, it is completely worth it. Uh, smooth operation. You do get a little bit of waviness on the screens. It's not like it's not like pulled tight. But the thing is, uh, once you project it and your projector's uh, far enough, you don't see those wavy uh, wrinkles or whatever. You know, um, so it's good. Good. I would give this five stars simply because uh, I'm happy with it. It's motorized and, and uh, works smoothly. Uh, and for the price, I got to give it five stars. I mean, if it, this thing was priced any higher, I would be a little bit more uh, picky about stuff. Uh, but for the money, um, I would say this is completely worth it. And I would buy it again. This is a good one.